What's up YouTube? Back again for another album review, and today I'll be reviewing the second studio album released, at least internationally. Uh, they, they had, this is the third album they released in Australia, but the second released album by ACDC internationally, that being 1976's Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Um, I'm personally, uh, I've probably mentioned this before, but I'm personally a much bigger fan of the Bon Scott era of ACDC than I am the Brian Johnson era. Not to say Brian Johnson isn't great, because he is clearly great, but I just thought Bon Scott was better, and I just liked the songs and the styles, you know, I thought, I, thought, I just think it was more raw than it was with Brian Johnson, but Dirty D's Dunder It Cheap, this album is really, really good, just, I mean, early ACDC, there's not a bad early ACDC album, and matter of fact, they're all great, pretty much, as far as I'm concerned, so this is a really good album, and it's got some, obviously, of their biggest songs on it, so, I'll go ahead and get into the track listing here. First first song, listen on the back, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap, the title track. I mean, this is one of HDC's 10 or 5 biggest hits, played songs anyways. Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap's an amazing song, awesome song. Such a cool song. I love the backup singing. I love the vocals by Bon Scott. Great guitar work. I mean, this album is, or this song is awesome. One of ACDC's most recognizable songs ever. Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap's a great song. Can You know, you, we've heard for... 40 years plus on the radio, or, well, not 40 years quite, but 35 years anyways, really, really good song, obviously. Then we have Love at First Feel, this is another really good song, really catchy song, kind of a little bluesier song, but I love this song a lot, Love at First Feel is a really good song, one of my favorites on the album, really good song. Then we have Big Balls and all this song, what a song this is. It's a good song, you know, it, it's just really funny, the lyrics. I mean, this song's really hilarious, if you ask me, but <laughs> Big Balls is a good song. I like it. Then we have Rocker, and the title of this song tells the whole story. Rocker is pure rock and roll to the finest right here. Great song. Really up-tempo, fast-paced, really fast-paced. Great lyrics, great vocals by Bon Scott. This is just a pure rocker right here, no pun intended, but this song is awesome. You know, just classic. Then we have Problem Child, and this is one of the most known songs on the album. Problem Child's a great song. Everybody knows this song. One of ACDT's bigger hits that they've played for years and years, and you've heard on radio a lot. So Problem Child's a really good song. One of my favorite ACDC songs. Certainly on, one of the best songs on this album, so great song. Side 2 kicks off with There's Gonna Be Some Rockin'. That's a good song. It's kind of slower paced, bluesier song. It's a good song. It's not like necessarily one of my favorites, but it's still a very solid song. So nothing remotely to complain about it. So very solid song. Then we have Ain't No Fun Waiting Round to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> that's a long title, and that's a good song, too. It's not like... Um... I don't know. It's not like one of my favorites, really, but it's still a very solid song. It's probably... I don't know, it's it's more up-tempo, up-pace. It's probably better than There's Gonna Be Some Rockin', but they're both good songs, so that's a good song there. Ain't No Fun Waiting Around to Be a Millionaire. It's a good song. Then we have Ride On, and this is probably my favorite on the album. Ride On's so awesome. This song is just epic. Slower pace, just awesome lyrics, great guitar work, just a really, really cool song. I mean, this song's awesome. They've played it live some, but not much, and this is, you know, not one of their bigger hits, but it's a great song. It's my favorite on this album. I love Right On. Absolutely killer song. Great. I love the flow and the tempo of the song. A really cool song. I love it. Then we have the last song, Squealer. That's a that's a good song. It's, you know, it's it's pretty good. It's not one of my favorites, but it, it you know, it's pretty good. It's probably my least favorite on the album, but it's still a good song. I mean, there's not a bad song on here, really, so... You know, Squealer's pretty good, so nothing to complain about it. So, pretty good song there. So, yeah, that's all the songs on Dirty Deeds, Thunder Cheat. This album's really, really good. Um, just continuing the trend of great early ACDC albums. I mean, this is, you know, got some of the best ACDC songs. I mean, Dirty Deeds, Problem Child, Ride On, uh, you know, etc. It's a great album. Really good. As far as my rating goes for it, I'd probably give it an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10, something around there, at least an 8, but it's a very, very good album, and just, you know, continuing, like I mentioned, continuing the great trend of early ACDC albums that were widely unrecognized until they got more known following Back in Black and the Brian Johnson era, so, great album. So yeah, that was my review of ACDC's Dirty Deed, Dunder Cheap, thank you for watching, and more videos will be up in the future, thanks for watching.